Good evening, traders. This is Brian with TraderShark.com, an educational website to learn how to trade the E-mini S&P futures. Today is Friday, December 9th, 2011. The following are examples of trade setups that occur on a consistent basis. These trade setups are described in detail in the trading manual and in the live daily shark den. Today we are showing 12 trade setups for a potential profit of 39 ES ticks. The market opened up this morning at 1233.75 represented by this white dotted line. We generally do not trade the first 15 minutes of the day from 9.30 to 9.45 because of the higher volatility. Now in this case if we have a setup in the direction of the gap fill we will go for it. In this particular case we did not have a setup to the downside but we did have a setup to the upside nice and clean. It is also a setting up with a wave trade that we have we talk about in the shark den right here. Now if you don't count this trade that's fine. It would be a total of 11 trades for 28 ES ticks. But in this particular case I talked about it in the shark den that we, were, we went for this trade and there was a total of target 1 and target 2 for a total of 11 ticks. If you did not there was another setup shortly after it for a total of 8 ticks. You could have taken actually both trades. Target 1 and target 2 were hit for a total of 8 ticks. We then had a third setup to the long side. We, here we had an opportunity to get long. Target 1 and target 2 were hit for a total of 10 ticks. And then as we crossed through our moving average, we had a pullback with target 1 hit and got stopped off for minus 2 ticks. And you've got to, you know, even if you have a stop out, you need to be able to jump right back into the game. And uh, we had another opportunity to get short. Target 1 and target 2 were hit for a total of 9 ticks. Worked our way sideways consolidation, congestion and accumulation until we broke through the moving average to the upside, pull back, target 1 and target 2 were hit for a total of 12 ticks. Then we found our hourly range high for resistance level, sideways movement before it broke any further higher and went into another no trade zone. This no trade zone runs from 11.30 to 1.15 Eastern Standard Time. It's just a period of lower volume and higher volatility. We then had a nice clean trade set up, pull back into our entry point and we did not get filled. It touched us but did not fill. And then uh, thereafter we had a nice follow through to the downside and at this point I think we were telling people in the room not to take this trade predominantly because the, the trend was up. Um, in the meantime, according to our trade plan rules, this would have set up. So we had to take, we had to show this as a loss. Uh, didn't even get off our first target and got a full stop off for minus 16 ticks. Quickly set up, ready to go long. Target 1 and target 2 were hit for a total of 7 ticks. And then you see how quickly this thing pulled back for another opportunity to get short and we got our target one off and got stopped off for minus two ticks on that particular trade. And then shortly thereafter another opportunity to get long, target one and target two were hit for a total of six ticks. And finally before going to the last no trade zone we had an opportunity to get short, target one was hit and got stopped off for minus two ticks. Came really close to hitting our T2 but I think we were off by one tick. To learn more about these and more advanced trade setups or to get a copy of the TraderShark trading manual please visit TraderShark.com. Thank you and I'll see you in the Shark Den on Monday.